Power Olap Quick Start Video 3. This video shows how to create a cube in Power Olap, how to create a slice and save it, how to set preferences under options, and how to import fact data from a text file. Using the dimensions created in the first Power Olap Quick Start video, let's create a Power Olap cube where data is stored and modeled. In the Model tab, click Cube. In the Cubes dialog box, enter a cube name in the field right next to the Add button. In this instance, enter Current Year Budget. Click the Add button, which opens the Define Cube dialog box, where you select dimensions for the cube. Press the Shift key and click the first dimension all the way to the last to highlight all the dimensions. Click on the Active Arrow Right button to move them to the selected dimensions list box. Click OK. You're directed back to the Cubes dialog box. Click the OK button. Power Olap provides a method for looking into a cube to view and input data known as creating a slice. A slice is a two-dimensional view of a cube that arranges data in a grid, just as a spreadsheet does. To create a slice view, let's follow these steps. From the ribbon, go to the Slice tab and click New Slice. In the New Slice dialog box, select the newly created cube and click OK. The Slice View dialog box opens to display the current year budget slice, untitled and without data in the grid. By default, when Power Olap creates a new slice, it places the last dimension brought into the cube when it was created in the rows position, the next to last dimension in the columns position, and the remaining dimensions on the, in the page position. It's quick and easy to change slice views. Drag and drop the dimension names into the filter, row or column in the label section. In this video, Accounts is moved to the Column Labels list box and Months to the Filter box. In a slice view, you can only set one page member for all page dimensions, and this defaults to the first member in the dimension list of the corresponding dimension. To select a different page member other than the default, you need to access the Edit Slice dialog box and use the Set Page Member feature. Double click on months to open the Edit Slice dialog box. Double click on February in the Slice Content list box, which is on the right. February is now highlighted in yellow, indicating that this member is currently selected page member. Click the OK icon. You can change the layout of the Slice grid by moving members of a dimension within the Slice Content list box. Double click on Accounts and rearrange the Slice Content list box according to this order. Net Sales, Cost of Sales, and Gross Profit, which is the selected page member. Click the OK icon. Click Recalculate. Your Slice now shows a view according to the settings you just made. The cube name is indicated in the title bar, but a Slice is untitled because it's unsaved. Once you have arranged the view you want, you can give the slice a name and save it using the Save Slice As or Save Slice command. Go to the Slice tab. Click the Save Slice As command. Enter a slice name. In this instance, enter Regions by Accounts. Click OK. Drag Months to Columns. Accounts to Rows and Regions to Filter. Click Recalculate to show a different slice view. You can save this slice in a different slice name. In this instance, enter Accounts by Months and then click OK. You may want to change the calculation mode to show slice changes and data entry calculations. To do this, go to the Home tab and click Options. In the General tab, click Automatic to show slice changes and the data entry calculations upon entry. Or click Manual to show slice changes and the data entry calculations upon clicking Recalculate or pressing F9. Note that for most users, Manual is the preferable calculation mode since it saves time, particularly in large databases. 
So select Automatic and click OK. To show you how Automatic works, double click on Regions, select United States as page member, click the green checkmark icon. Double click on Months and drag Total Year from the bottom to the top of the list. Click OK. The slice now shows total year in the first column. Enter 5,000 in January in net sales cell and 3,000 in January cost of sales cell and gross profit automatically shows 2,000. The options dialog box has four tabs, general, format, licensing, and portal. Aside from the calculation mode radio buttons, the general tab has options on the Create Excel worksheet using OLAP section, which concern the data connection function used to create Excel spreadsheets from Power OLAP slices. If you'd like to make format changes to the numbers or the text, decimal places, colors, font size, as they appear in a slice, choose the Format tab. You can adjust the appearance of the display fonts and the number format in Power OLAP. The Licensing tab provides information about your current license and the functionality available after activation. It also provides for registering and activation of your product. The Portal tab provides information to enable and set up a portal, which serves as a starting point for browsing the web. Power App allows you to import metadata or fact data in the form of flat, delimited text files. Conversely, you can also export the metadata or fact data in the form of cubes and slices from your Power OLAP multidimensional database into a text file that can in turn be imported into another system. It's kind of unbelievable. With the Quick Start database open, go to the Data tab. In the Import Control group, select Fact Data. In the Import dialog box, click Browse to select the file to import and select the QS data.txt file from a directory. Click Open, select the tab delimiter, and click OK. In the Import Fact Data dialog box, click on Months. A notification prompts you that the import process is time consuming. Click Yes to continue. Note that in the Members List box, only January is selected for this dimension. This is because the import file contains data for January only. If you click on the Accounts and Regions dimension, you'll see that the import file contains data for several of their members, but the data will only be for the month of January. Leave the Set option as the Fact Data Import method and click OK to begin the import process. You will receive a prompt indicating that the import was successful. Click OK and you're returned to the slice. Click Recalculate. The fact data import is complete. You may want to create a slice to check the data that you just imported. So to do so, follow these steps. From the Power Roll App ribbon, go to the Slice tab and click the Open Slice command to access the Open Slice dialog box. Select the appropriate cube from the dropdown. Select the Regions by Account slice and click OK. The Regions by Account slice now opens and displays the data that you just imported. We need to set the page member of the month's dimension back to January to display the imported January data. Click on the file icon and click Save Database command to save the changes you made to both data and to slice views. Excellent job! Thanks for watching. Visit ParisTech.com for more information.